Hey there everyone, today I've got a video for you where I am doing some meal prepping and some cleaning up. So I'm so excited to be sharing this recipe with you guys because this recipe I've been making since like the very start of our marriage. It was like one of the first things I started making for Jeff. It is my seven layer casserole. So it's super easy. The first thing I do is I saute some ground beef and I just season it with some um, garlic powder, some salt, and some pepper. And then I'm just gonna make sure that that is all cooked up. All right, so in this next step, you have two choices. You can either add uncooked rice to the casserole or you can pre-cook it if you don't have as much time like myself in this situation. So I'm going to pre-cook my rice so that the casserole is ready quicker because we need to leave um, for hockey practice and I'm planning on taking this casserole with us. So I'm going to set this to cook and I'm gonna finish off the ground beef here. All right, so next up, I'm just gonna dice up my green peppers here. It's super easy. You can actually dice it up any size you want. If you want bigger chunks, go ahead and do bigger chunks, or if you just like little pieces, that is totally fine too. If you guys aren't already subscribed to me on my channel here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. When you hit that subscribe button, not only does it help me become more visible here on YouTube, but it also will help you to get notified when I post new videos, especially when you hit that little notification bell. That way you'll get a notification when I do post. And if you guys didn't know, I do have an Instagram account where I'm pretty active. So if you guys like my channel, you'll probably wanna come check out my Instagram account too. All right, so those of you who have seen my previous cooking videos, you know I like to get my ground beef pretty fine. I don't really like it too chunky. So I'm gonna put it in this bowl here so that I don't damage the pan, and I'm gonna take my little pastry cutter, and I'm just gonna mash it all up so it's basically chopped up into little fine pieces. Okay, so now I'm just going to open my cans of corn and my crushed tomatoes here. So I'm gonna open the corn and I'm gonna drain out the liquid. Now again, since I am rushed today, I'm going to saute those green peppers so everything cooks a little bit faster in the oven. Normally, if you are not in a hurry, you would put the rice first in this dish and it would not have to be cooked. You could just add some water in there with it um, so that way it cooks all together. Um, same with those green peppers, you would just put those in the casserole dish raw. And now that I've got my rice at the bottom of the casserole dishes, I'm going to layer it with the ground beef. Now I'm making two of these because I'm making one casserole dish for my parents. So it's a little bit extra work when you are in a hurry because you have to pre-cook the rice and then you have to saute the green peppers, but it's really not that big of a deal. But if you have the time and you're just gonna be putting this in the oven um, earlier in the day and then you've got um, a couple hours for that to cook, then it's super easy. You literally just dump everything in layers in the casserole dish and then it cooks quite nicely. After the rice, the ground beef, and the green peppers, I put on the crushed tomatoes. And as I was doing this, I realized that I don't really remember the order that I was, that I used to do this in. And I really don't think it matters because it all gets mixed in and cooked together in the end anyways. So don't stress too much about the order that you are putting it in. That's just the way I did it in this video and it turned out perfectly fine. Now for the top layer, I am going to trim off some of the bacon fat because I just don't like too much grease in there, but I still like bacon, so I'm gonna do my best to trim off the chunks of fat that are very visible. So um, I'm doing that and I'm just layering it across the top of the casserole. 
and then that is your last layer. Once that is done, you're gonna pop that in the oven and then you are gonna bake it on 350. I baked mine for about an hour and keep in mind that is with some of the ingredients pre-cooked. If it is not cooked, like if you have rice in there that is uncooked, you're definitely gonna want to make sure that that gets cooked. So I'm thinking you're probably gonna need a couple of hours. It's really easy just to keep an eye on it, stick a spoon in there and see how it's doing, but I can't remember for sure how long I used to cook it with uncooked rice. Now also keep in mind, I didn't add a lot of seasoning like salt and pepper into the casserole. What I like to do is when I go to eat the casserole afterwards, when it's all cooked, I like to add some salt and pepper on top after. That's just the way I like to eat it. But if you wanna make sure that it is seasoned well enough, you can add it right away when you are putting the ingredients in and just maybe add it into the rice. All right, let's get down into the cleaning because I have to get these kids to hockey practice. So I am just using the rest of my Mrs. Myers cleaning spray. I used, I think it is the apple, apple cider scent, that's the one. Um, so I just used the rest of that on the countertops. It smells fantastic. And now I'm just gonna load up this dishwasher because I don't want a sink full of dishes. I remember last time I did a video, I didn't have a chance to load the dishwasher. So I'm super excited that this time I don't have to leave dishes in the sink because that means I don't have to deal with it when I get home. So I'm just going to spray down this kitchen cabinet because I see a lot of spillage here. I'm going to wipe that down. All of the cabinets need to be washed. Um, so I'm going to have to set aside a day to wash them all down. That's the thing with white cabinets. You can see every little splash mark on there. So for today, I'm just going to wipe this spot because it's driving me nuts. I'm going to get that cleaned up. If you guys are enjoying my video, I would so appreciate it if you would leave a thumbs up down below and even leave a comment because that helps my videos to show up in the suggested videos in the YouTube homepage. So that would really, really help me grow my channel and I really appreciate when you guys do that. To keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Not 
not sure who I really am Just be cute and super bland I try to hold it together Keep it together Been playing it down But I'm so getting tired Now won't you meet high Cause I've been feeling Feeling like crazy And I need to lose control So baby put the record on Baby put the record on Hit it And I've been needing Needing like crazy And I gotta let it go So baby put the record guys so I'm just about done cleaning the sink area here now I just wanted to mention one of my subscribers had asked if I missed the sink in the old house we had the big huge farmhouse sink I can tell you yes I 100% miss that sink but I won't be having this sink for long because we are planning on changing out these countertops and putting in the one big sink and a new faucet here again so that will be coming we are kind of doing things one at a time around here. I cannot wait to get the kitchen part done. I'm hoping to have it done by Christmas, but again, no promises. Our kids are in sports and our lives are insane, but we are definitely trying our best and I'm just gonna make do for now. Okay, so the casserole is still baking in the oven and I still have a little bit more time before I have to leave. So I'm going to get the floors all cleaned up so that I don't have to do any of that when I get home. Alright, so I'm going to use my handy dandy cooler that I used in my last video. This has become super handy for me to be taking our meals to go, especially when we have a whole evening at the ring. Sometimes our practices will start at like 4 o'clock p.m. and we will not get home till 9 or 10 o'clock p.m. So really we have no time to eat unless I bring the food to the rink with us. So. I'm definitely gonna start doing this more often. I've done it a couple times now and it is a lifesaver. I can actually feed my kids home cooked meals and not have to buy them fast food or anything like that. And it saves a ton of money as well. So this is something that I'm planning on doing a lot more often. So you were shrugging your shoulders and closed off. That's what I told What goes next, buddy? Your shin pads? Which one is that, right or left? What? This one is left. Which one? Which one's your left leg? Yes, that's your left leg. Put it on. Back, there's no going back to your own life. Living in the past, we're over there. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. What else? I like oh. Neck guard. What's next? Helmet? 
Can you do the buckle or do you need me to help you? Need help? Okay. Well, first you have to do this bottom chin strap. No, nope, underneath this chin strap goes right over there. Can you do that or do you need mom to help? Okay. And this is what most of my evenings look like. This is my view and I'll be sitting here watching my kids practice and play hockey and I'll be bringing my work with me. Usually if it's a game night, I will not bring my work with me unless it's something I have to get done right away. But on this day, it's a practice. They're just working on skills and drills. So I brought a video to edit. So I'm multitasking and I'm getting some stuff done. All right, so we're home to the rink now. Jeff is just doing a little bit of work here while we have some time. The kids are vegging out. The room is a mess, so I'm gonna get that cleaned on the next day, but we have to get the kids ready for bed now. So I think we're gonna have some pierogies for romantic date night before bed. Fried pierogies. Yummy. So what do you think of some fried pierogies? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put some napkins on the plate to soak up the grease. Because I like fried pierogies, I just don't like the grease. I don't. Check that out. All those look so yummy, but they're coated in a bunch of grease. So, I shall take that and put them on the plate with the napkins. Okay, so I'm making a little treat for, <laughs> for bed because we're in a piggy mood. <laughs> I'm in a piggy mood um, because they're going to make her totally weird, but... I came up with this earlier today. I had some Cool Whip and it took the Cool Whip. It took the Cool Whip and I just kind of spread it on my ego. This is so healthy. Anyway, I took this and I tried it and it's super good. So I'm getting him to try it now. Anyway, if you're like craving something sweet, and you have Eggo waffles, and you have um, Cool Whip in your freezer. It's great. Anyways, I recommend you try it. If you're brave enough to try it, let oh me know that you gosh. tried it. <laughs> I'm not. It's so good. Okay, ladies, so I just wanted to show you guys my nighttime, like, facial routine. Um, I'm just going to take off my old makeup from the day. So I have hardly any left, but this is the makeup remover I use. It is the Nivea Express Eye Makeup Remover. So I'm just going to put that on this little pad. So I'm just going to... Take off the mascara because that stuff doesn't usually want to come off with just like facial soap and water. So I'm just gonna rub it. See all that stuff. Um, I've got my liquid eyeliner and my mascara. So oh, my nose is itchy. So I look like a raccoon. Like look at that. I have like really dark under eye circles and stuff. So. Once I start taking my makeup off, and all you see, <laughs> wow, I think the lighting in here is making it like extra bad. But anyways, I think I got most of it off. It's a little bit left there. Try to rub on my eyelashes. Okay. All right, that should be pretty good. And then I'm just 
gonna take my wet facial cloth. My earrings are getting in the way. I'm gonna take those off now. So I've just got my wet facial cloth with some soap on it. I'm just gonna take this all off. Now I've been using a cream that was prescribed to me by my, I don't know what you call her, my face girl. <laughs> Anyways, uh, where is it? Okay, so it's right here. And this is what I've been using. Um, it's a retinoid cream. I think it's just called retinoid. So if you are in your 30s or um, a little bit older, you're gonna wanna start using this cream. It, from everything I've read online, it's like a lifesaver. It makes your skin so much smoother and the appearance just so much better. It reduces wrinkles and fine lines and stuff like that. So um, this one is, I think the sticker is covering it. It's Trent, what's it called? Tretinoin, T-R-E-T-I-N-O-I-N. So anyways, this is what I've been using. It does irritate your skin when you first start using it. Um, from what I've read online, it's like, it's called the purge. So it'll purge your dead skin cells. So right now I've been using it once a week. So I'm gonna use this tonight, but um, I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, but I've got some like really dry spots from it. The other day it was like all over my eyelids and stuff. So um, I know my nose has a bunch of dry skin flaking off from that cream, but I can tell you that in this area, most of it has flaked off and the skin is like, the texture of it is so much better than in other spots. I notice the pores are smaller and the wrinkles are smoothing out. So everybody that I know that has used it said stick with it. The results are amazing. It can take like up to, I think six to 12 months to see the full effect of the results. But, okay. So I've got everything washed off. And now I'm just going to dry my face a bit before I put it on. I always feel like I'm not sure if I should put it on or not because I know in a few days I'll be like peeling again, but I really want to see those <laughs> results that they keep talking about. So, okay. So this is what I'm going to use for tonight. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to start peeling, but today I'm going to avoid this area because it's still a little bit irritated and I'm not going to do my eyelids, but I will do under my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a thin layer of that all around my face. So try to keep myself looking somewhat youthful after I'm chasing after these kids. <laughs> Alrighty, so all you really need is like a tiny pea size amount and it spreads really quite nicely. Spread that right out. Like I said, I'm not going to put it on or around my lips. So I'm going to do my under eyes in the corner of my eyes, not my lids. And I got the rest. Okay, so. That is it. I'm going to take my contacts out now and put my glasses on. But other than that, I'm going to go stick my jammies on and maybe go watch a little bit of Grey's Anatomy. But I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. Don't forget to subscribe down below so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.